What's our motto of the day? If you're not going to use it, you might as well lose it. And that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone! Happy Monday everyone! Justin and I are about to head into a little antique store. It's actually raining today. I had someone come over today to patch a few holes in my bedroom walls, um, which you guys are gonna see what's happening there. And since we're in there, we weren't able to work on the office, so we actually decided to go antiquing today. It's just really rainy out and like the perfect day to do so, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and kind of film it. After sharing my last antique and flea market journey with you, so many comments were talking about how much you actually enjoy these videos. And for me, whenever I'm editing them, I'm like, gosh, do people really want wanted to see what I'm like walking around and looking at, but seeing your response and also realizing what I like to watch, I love watching people going around and shopping. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with, let's head inside. Oh my gosh, look at all of this art. I love it displayed so closely together like this so beautiful all the frames wow look at the detail in some of these so cool this is pretty oh that's so cute this little tramp art mirror this frame is so good oh these sell 30 percent off too If you've been on the channel for a while, you might remember this light. It looks kind of like an acorn. I have been looking at this light for over a year um, at the same location. It's still been here, but it's like $3,200. I just picture it being in the stairwell. It's such a cool shape and it has like bronze and the mica. <laughs> friends Brady Tolbert he hung a chain on his wall in the office and I loved the way that it looked just hanging as opposed to like draping it on like some books or on your coffee table Justin we're getting this look how stunning this painting is wow the colors in here are so my vibe. Just walked over to our second location, which is actually just like a smaller version of the Pasadena Antique Center. They have one next door called the Annex. So if you didn't know about that, it's a little bit cheaper and kind of a little bit more thrifty as opposed to antique, I'd say. Ooh, this booth looks, it looks like there's some pretty stuff. Oh, there's literally Justin in here. I didn't know where you were. <gasps> wow, uh, beautiful. <gasps> Spend $30 or more on a regular price item and save 30% off the purchase. Look at this. How much is she? Oh, she's kind of expensive. She's 75. Hey, look at this plate. Oh my gosh. 24. It's so pretty. We've got to put this on the wall. I love this one. Look at this little burl nightstand with the little detail down here in the tiny drawers. This is so cute it's like oh my gosh it has a drawer on the side justin oh <gasps> that's everything it's so cute it's like carved out of a solid root You kidding me right now? Boy with bird painting on stretched linen. The so colors cute. are unreal. The pattern on the carpet, almost. Oh, I didn't see that. That is so cool. What does it smell like in here? A diaper. Why does it smell like a diaper? Little like organizer for my desk. Maybe like for paper clips or memory cards. 
He always, he always loses memory his memory cards. cards. CF cards, SD cards. <laughs> so cute. And it's like the 1930s Art Deco. Hi everyone. We are at the flea market today. It is Sunday and it's Long Beach Flea Market, which is our favorite one. Is this once or twice a month? This is once a month. Is, is it? I thought it was every two weeks. It's the um, Pasadena City College. We have our shopping cart, which if you guys need a flea market cart, I will link this below for you. I always love this guy's booth. Every time, he always has such cute little items. I love the this blanket. Yeah, that's a good one. This is so cute, this little moon. We need to use this and turn it into the door on the bathroom. That would be so cute somehow. Yeah. Okay, guys, I ended up getting this pot. So cute. These watercolors. Justin, look at these watercolors right here. How much are these ones? They're so good. I love them. Like a torch. I love that. Such a pretty one. Such pretty colors. Turn it a little towards the This is so cute too. The one red person. That's. Is this real? It's like a print, but like a like a real print, like a screen print. Yeah. Kinda. It's Rodan ballerina girl. It's like a little statue. It's actually signed right here. Look at this art. Oh, so cute. Look at Abraham these. Abraham. Look at the little guy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're, very, they're really in bad shape, but I thought they were so cool. Look how cute this is. This girl over here is me. Just, hey! That's what she's saying. Dual. What's cute? What does it say? Rocket Express. Thank you. Look at this spade chair with the leather and the studs. What's our motto of the day? If you're not going to use it, you might as well lose it. And that's correct. <laughs> we got this little table. It's a flip top table. He said from 1790. Oh, there you go, yeah. This rug in this booth right here is so beautiful. I keep staring at it. Justin went to go get the car, and we have secured quite a few items today. Got a bunch of different art, got two different lamps here, some decor, a quilt actually. It needs a bunch of repairs though, so I think I might turn it into pillows. It was only 10 bucks, so I thought it was a great deal. Then I got this really cute flip table and the spade style chair. So I feel like we got some pretty good finds today. If you've made it this far, it is time for a haul. And I will say right now that I don't really remember everything I've bought because this video has been a collection of a few different times I've gone antiquing or flea market shopping. And sometimes the pieces end up in one room, they end up styled. I take a video for Instagram, one of them ends up in the kitchen. So I've collected as many of them as I can. I really love a good painting and I feel like I found some cool ones. This first one here, I think is gonna be a keeper for myself. As many of you know, I also do sell vintage over on my website, lonefox.com. We are having our next drop just right around the corner on March 3rd at 10 a.m. It's going to be, I think, our fifth drop. I got this piece and how incredible is this little antique still life oil painting? It has such a simple frame. I love the almost primitive feel of it, but at the same time, I love the primary colors on this brown backdrop. It's really pretty. You can see the age on the back here and it's done on a board. And also the size is just so ideal. And, and also the size is absolutely ideal. I think I have to keep this one. It's just too good. Another one that I think is probably gonna be a keeper too, knowing myself, 
because of the colors. Look at this French oil painting. I have seen this one many times because the guy that actually sells at this booth, he's so nice. I have bought a few pieces of clothing from him. Oddfellow or something, right? Yeah, that sounds right. It's like, I think his brand is Oddfellow, but he has some really great oil paintings that he has purchased and sourced himself from France. And he said that he got this one there and it's just so great. I mean, look at the backside there. It's a picture of a ship, but the reds, the blacks, and kind of the amber backdrop is just really great. It's signed at the bottom and I've seen him have this one at his booth for quite a few times I've gone to the flea market and I just decided this time to ask if he'd do a little better on it and he ended up doing so So I picked it up because it's just a really cool piece. These little paintings right here were an absolute bargain The lady was selling these for five dollars a piece, which is honestly crazy And she believes that they are from art students just because on the back uh, It has like everyone's name and signature So I don't know where these might have came from or ended up, but they are so cool I love this one of the grapes with the knife and the hand and then this one the scenery with the purple I thought that was such an interesting pop of color there and I loved the kind of chartreuse color in the sky as well and they're more modern however they're stunning still some of me in boats because I also got another one of those that was a five dollar one that was of these incredible boats but it's upstairs I realized I forgot to grab that one however I got one more boat painting and this one I love it I love the colors I love how it's kind of like a color blocking it's so so simple and it's something like almost looks looks like a child might have made. But something about that is kind of hard to recreate. Like when you really want that simple, effortless feel to a piece, sometimes that's really hard to get. And so I love finding pieces like this. When I saw these, I asked the guy what they were at the flea market. And he said that these are from the 1920s and they were probably from a hotel. They are cast iron bathroom signs. And look at the white paint finish on the top. They just have such a good patina on them. Hopefully that is showing up because they are just I mean, beyond. So I ended up having to get them. I think they were $30 for the pair. But I thought to myself, like maybe I could put one on mine in Marie's bathroom, just something, a fun little element. I absolutely love studio pottery. And if you don't know what studio pottery is, it is kind of essentially anything that's created by an artist that is signed or just looks kind of like a handmade pottery piece. Is that how you describe it? Yeah, it's just like handmade pottery. It's just it's handmade like, pottery. Um, like one of a kind pieces. Yeah, one of a kind. I wish I was able to do it. And I think that's why I love purchasing it because I'm not capable of like, doing pottery. I tried it with McKenna once and I just, I couldn't do it. So I understand the price point sometimes. Now this studio pottery piece was a great price. I thought it was so cute though, because traditionally I always find vases and stuff. This is a little horse and it came with a stand as well, which I don't know if I would display this maybe on the wall or something. It kind of looks like a little clay horse figurine. I don't know. I just thought it was nice. Little white horse Taylor Swift moment, you know? piece that Justin actually found when he was out one day and texted me a photo of was this box, but I had to share it because how good is this box? It is a popsicle stick tramp art box. And I just love anything that's crafted from kind of everyday objects. So popsicle sticks, uh, bottle caps, those are all considered tramp art pieces back in the day. And I think that this box is so cool. It's actually usable, it has this little tie here and then it hinges open and close. And I love how the flap actually stays wherever you want it to go. I just love the way that it feels and it adds that handmade charm to a space. Another handmade piece, this vase. And it almost looks scientific, like test tube sitch. Also looks like it could be like a drip coffee maker. Someone crafted this iron kind of structure. So it comes in two pieces. This is the holder and it has acanthus leaves on it, which are prominent throughout a lot of the light fixtures in my home, which is kind of fun. And someone made this, like look at that craftsmanship on the bottom there. They created this wire cage, blue glass into it. These little arms just simply sit on top of the stand. I can just see this as a single item on like a round table with some flowers in it and it's just a show-stopping decor piece. I'm not even gonna tell you guys the price I paid for this because I don't know if I'm gonna keep it and when I list it online like it is so cute! I love it! It's almost like I need to keep this. It is massive. I don't know there's something about this humongous platter that I absolutely love. It has like kind of raised bottom to it. This is what the backside looks like and look how big it is. You can serve a lot of things on this. And someone else made this mirror, which is such a cool little piece as well. The frame of it, of course, was created out of clay and then they added just a mirror on the inside there. Thought how simple this could be just above like a little side chair. So if you wanted to create like a little vignette in your home that had like a little accent chair and then just pop this on the wall, maybe next to some art or something, or even put this inside of a bookshelf kind of leaning. It's just an accent piece. How perfect is this? little silver bottle 
with a stopper. It has a handle on it. It's a perfect little shape here. And when I get to the bar makeover, which is going to be happening in this home sometime, I want to put this in it. So I got this. It was only $29. If you could see that label on the back there, it's probably a silver plate piece, but it's by the brand Crescent, if that gives you guys any idea. I grabbed a few snuffers for the vintage drop. This one's sterling silver, but I loved the shape, how it almost had this helmet shape and the little circle on the back there. And then this one here is copper and it has this twisted kind of handle and then a wavy detail on the top of the stuffer, which I love. I thought this was so simple and cute. I've been sharing a lot of my flea market adventures as well over on Instagram. So if you're not already following, make sure to do so. I will pop it right up here. It's just Lone Fox Home. And I shared this candelabra that I found. I got this from a guy's booth that I actually now would consider a friend because I ended up meeting him at a store that he works at. And he also has an antique booth and his curation and eye and just vibe is so on point. It is so, so good. And I I bought a few things from him. If you guys know those wavy candlesticks that I had, I bought them like right when I moved into this house and I just recently met him. I mean, his stuff's so cool. So I ended up grabbing this from his booth. This was one of the booths that was 30% off. I think this filled with some of those really pointed tapers would be such a striking piece. I have three more items I wanna share with you. This first one, vanity mirror. I'm always looking for a small little vanity mirror like this. I think I bought one a while back and used it in a project, but it's so hard to find really cute little ones like this. And this one kind of has a span feel to it. It works really nice as well. These last two pieces are from Facebook Marketplace and you guys are going to scream when you see this. I saved it, these two for last. Honestly, this one for last because look at this Murano glass candle holder. Are you kidding me right now? I'm going to put my hand through here so I don't drop it. This one we found on Facebook Marketplace and when Justin sent me the link of this, I absolutely screamed and we realized it was like four hours away though. And so we messaged the lady and asked if she was willing to ship it. And she said she was. This is a blown glass candle holder believed to be Murano. I don't know, this one could be a potential like keeper, a potential seller. I can't keep everything. Like I just, I can't keep everything. You know what I mean? I buy too much stuff. So when I saw this last item here on Marketplace though, I knew I wanted to put it in the breakfast nook. I currently have like a simple black candle sconce in the breakfast nook. It just needs something more because the wall of that's on is so large. I said, we're gonna upgrade that candle sconce to this Italian toll painted sconce with the cutest little bow at the bottom. How? good is this? I love it so much. It's going to add so much interest to that section. And it's such a prominent section of the breakfast nook too. Like when you look in this wall, it just has one little candle sconce on it, which is cute. But after seeing it for so long, I feel like it can use something so much more substantial. And I want to put this there. So probably going to share some photos of that on Instagram. It says Italy on here. I love that. So yes, guys, that was my haul and my little antique shopping slash flea marketing adventures. I will catch you all in my next one. My camera is currently about to overheat. But don't forget as well to mark your calendars for our next vintage drop, which is March 3rd at 10 a.m. I have so many goodies. Even some of the stuff you saw here, probably gonna be in there. So see you then.